for some unknown reason I decided I want to make this video again sort of um, I have said who I think should be Bond and what I think they should do with Bond coming up in the future but I think it was part of another video of me talking about um, just what I wanted in movies in general or part of a larger video altogether so very quickly what I think they should do with the next James Bond movie or two movies here's what I think okay number one if I was producing it what I would do and I said I tweeted this a while ago probably over a year ago maybe two years ago and I think I tagged Guy Ritchie I would have Guy Ritchie direct it hey he's British but he knows what he's doing also I would have Idris Elba Tom Hardy and Henry Cavill star in this movie now what I would do is I would make the movie in such a way that it's totally you know under wraps and everything and you don't know which one of them is Bond you don't know which one of them is Bond going into the movie and probably for a large portion of the movie you don't know which one of them is Bond maybe they don't call each other by name maybe there's stuff going on you know they could all be agents or one of them could appear to be a bad guy and then actually be Bond. Okay, so you do that and everybody gets to see these guys acting sort of like Bond because everybody wants somebody. Then you reveal somewhere in the film who is actually Bond, but you could do it in such a way where you film the three possible outcomes. So nobody except the people who the real deciders and the stars know who it really really is right I'm not saying to release it in a clue type situation if you remember how they released the movie clue although they could do that but I'm just saying I thought it would be cool if they all got the chance to be bond like and then they picked one of them because I think everybody kind of wants one of those three I know there's people who want somebody else because they're weird but okay so let's say I produced that movie <laughs> and like I said, oh, the other thing why Guy Ritchie is because he worked with all of them, you know. He worked with Idris Elba and um, Tom Hardy on Rock and Roller. And he did The Man from Uncle, which is kind of the proof movie of how good Henry Campbell would be as Bond because he was pretty good in that movie. And so I don't know if they all still get along with Guy Ritchie. I don't know if he likes them all still. But that's why I think that would be. That was my idea. My other idea, which you could do at the same time, I realized, was for them to start over and have an origin story bond. Because I don't, I think I watched all the old ones. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I did. I don't feel like there was an origin story bond, like how he became James Bond. So I would start over with a young bond, meaning Tom Holland, and you know have an origin story for Bond it could be just a one-off movie to explain how Bond came to be or it could start a whole new Bond a young Bond you know but they would all be like period pieces <laughs> um, or like with some time jumps but you know say one back in the day and one in the 80s when he gets a little bit older and whatever but you could have, you could honestly have two concurrent bonds. Just like they have a bunch of superhero stuff where there's a, there's like 85 Supermans or 85 Spider-Mans. You know what I mean? You got Superman on TV, you got Superman in the movies, you know what I mean? Then there's of course the comic books. So you could have concurrent stories. You could have a young Bond. So you could have a few movies with Tom Holland. And then you could have whoever they pick for the new Bond. And if they were all agents, or one of them's a bad guy, or whatever, see, that's why my idea is awesome. So, that's all I had to say. I said it before, I said both versions before as like different alternatives, but I'm like, you know what, you could do both. You could do both. That's my feeling on the subject. Please, now you point you want to say something to me about how stupid that is, or how wonderful that is, or anything, or your own ideas. Go right ahead. Thank you very much for your time and your patience because it's probably the shortest video I ever made.